Hey, what is up everybody? It's Jordan. I uh, just figured I'd do a little update on the uh, Adeptus Custodes Commission. So, here are the first three of the Reaver Titans finished. Let's see if I can get a picture from up here. I did them. Uh, the client's been pretty fun to work with actually. So, he wants varying degrees of, you know, battle damage and stuff. And that's what I've been doing. As you can see the feet, like these two, are pretty roughed up. And then this one looks to be like a fairly newer Titan. You know, he's got some uh, paint chips on the his armor panels, clearly. He's got some up here too. You know, like some paint chips on the armor panel. So I've been doing stuff with some chipping and stuff like that. Bunch of decals. And there's this guy, you know, he doesn't have the paint chips, but he's, uh, you know, he's got like some wear on him, use some pigments and stuff. Uh, so he's not like the other two with this top armor piece. Uh, he has some decals up there and just a plain one. Some more decals down there. These things are magnetized. These are magnetized. Arms are magnetized. You can uh, put the, uh, these like Gatlin gun things are, forgive me, I don't know the correct terms. And I just knocked him over, so that's great. But uh, yeah, there's that. I did a little bit of, you know, corrosion on the barrels and whatnot. But yeah, so there you can see he's magnetized because I just knocked it over. His arm's a little up in the air because uh, magnet got a little high, but whatever. I can fix that pretty easily. Uh, over here, this guy, he's a little bit dirtier, as you can see, you know. His, uh, yellow arm is pretty, pretty gunked up. Got a big old, uh, spot where, you know, in my mind, it was kind of like, uh, you know, soot or something from, like, maybe an artillery blast. He's got a little bit of chipping underneath there, too. Uh, he's got some decals up top on the rocket launcher thing. Heads magnetized, arms are magnetized, rocket launchers are magnetized. Uh, torso on a few of them are magnetized, but I talked to the client. It just kind of they're really kind of hard to magnetize because they they uh, it kind of sets them off balance to be honest. So I only did a few of them like that. As you can see, he's got some writing on his uh, shield panel there, and uh, so the yellow on these was a pain. I haven't painted yellow in a long time, and it became a pain and. I was too lazy to order paints online, so I just went down to my local store and I got these. And I have to say, these Vallejo Air Paints are... I can't recommend them, to be honest. I did not enjoy using them at all. It was... It had the same consistency... <coughs> Excuse me. At least this one. This one wasn't too bad, but it's still nowhere near as good as something like... Uh, Vallejo Model Air or even thinning down scale 75 or other Vallejo paints. This had the same consistency as if I uh, thinned down some of my other Vallejo model air yellows, which is not what I was looking for, you know? Wasn't looking for that to get the same results as if I just thinned this down myself, which is what I was getting. So that was a little frustrating, but I ended up making it work in the long run, even though, uh, it's not exactly what I wanted, but as you can see, I got some pretty good transitions on there. Doesn't really show up too good on the camera, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, also got a new air compressor. Really enjoy that. It has uh, improved my air airbrushing game uh, immensely. I had a little crappy air compressor before, but uh, yeah, that's the update. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be painting the first half of this army, which is going to be the uh, Essentially, the Loyalist, uh, the, what is the correct name of this chapter? Give me one second, guys. Uh, the Legio Grifficonis. Legio Griffin, that's what we're going to call them. I'm going to be painting them, so I'll be painting all of their Reaver Titans, all their War, War, Warhound Titans, all of their uh, Warlord Titans and all the Knights. And then I will paint the uh, Traders. So yeah, that should be pretty fun. 
see if I can get a view of the transitions I've been getting with this thing. This camera just sucks. Film with my phone still. There you go. You can kind of see it up there on that on that blue. All right, guys. Until next time. Talk to you guys later.